All right, everybody. What's going on? Driving again. <laughs> I like doing these kind of videos because they're simple. And um, I don't know about you, but I tend to get better thoughts rolling when I'm in motion, whether that's like walking, could be exercising, could be driving. I don't know why. I, I just get like better, better uh, thoughts, basically. Uh, good little like flow states, good ideas. It's cool. So I like talking while I'm driving or while I'm moving. Um, so I wanted to, uh, wanted to talk about what it means to actually have a, we'll say an active lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle is kind of like a bigger umbrella term, but an active lifestyle in particular. Because I notice a lot of people who talk about having an active lifestyle, they either want to or they say they're good, they have it. And, you know, I'm in this group too, so this is not to say like I've got it down and other people don't. I have to work on this myself too and it takes constant reminders, but a lot of these people who say they're active, when they say active, they're kind of thinking of their days and they're like, you know, I do take that one long walk during the day or I do go to the gym, you know, for 30 to 60 minutes a day. So that's pretty good. That's active. And I think in reality, that is pretty far from an active lifestyle. That is an active hour, <laughs> but it's not, it's not an active lifestyle. I mean, even 60 minutes of good exercise, of good activity, whatever it is, that's excellent, but it's one hour out of, you know, your 24 hours, or maybe we'll call it your 16 while you're awake. Um, that's not really active. And what it means to be active, have an active lifestyle, is to be moving all throughout the day, is to be the opposite of sedentary. You're, you're very active no matter what you're doing. There's always going to be parts of the day. I know you turn here. <laughs> so there's going to be parts of the day where you, um, you know, you have to sit down and you have to be still for a while and, you know, it, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to be perfect with this. Um, like I myself have to sit down and I have to write blog posts. Those take, you know, a couple hours usually. And then and that's just the writing part. So. There is a lot of stuff to be done on the computer for a lot of us. Um, I mean, sure, we have to relax, we have to, we sit and eat. Like, it's okay to have sedentary activities, but to fill in the space around it and maybe even improve how we do our sedentary activity will get us closer to living an active lifestyle. So some things that I'll do are I will try to avoid sitting on furniture as much as I can because when you sit on the floor or you squat or you stand and do something or you walk and do something, however you do it, you have to do more shifting. You have to, you're less comfortable. If you're sitting in a big, cushy, comfy chair, you don't really have any incentive to move and the chair isn't even conducive to you moving anyway. You sink in and you get kind of stuck there you're in your comfortable position. It's not really, it's not geared to make you move. So, you know, sitting on the floor is probably the biggest one that I would advise people to do because most people are aware of like stand up desks and like, you know, just, just getting up out of your desk every once in a while as opposed to sitting in it all day. If you have like an office job or something, you know, people are aware of that, but if you can sit on the floor, if you can sit cross-legged, if you can bend your legs, shift your legs, whatever, it all helps. Um, so things like this, in terms of filling in the rest of your time, you know, less time laying around, less time relaxing, and maybe more time doing activities that are going towards something, they're somewhat productive, but they're, they're relaxing activities. So one thing for me that I've picked up doing is during the nighttime, I'll actually do dishes at night. And that's like a good way for me to kind of wind down my day. I move a little bit and 
it kind of like mentally gets me in a good state to where I'm better prepared for the next day and you know I didn't just spend a couple hours just laying on the couch and getting stiff and you know <laughs> less happy about the way of spending my time basically so you know just another little tidbit about uh, how to live a better lifestyle particularly in terms of being active you know think about your whole day don't think about the old paradigm is kind of to go to work and to if you can make it to the gym after that you know you're like a warrior of some kind and that's great um, and I'm not against the gym at all I'm actually I'm coming from the gym where I just did an hour of working out and some days that's all you're gonna get but I would encourage you to try to get more activities in between your little tasks between um, you going from place to place uh, you know one thing I like to talk about is micro workouts instead of doing a hard workout for 30 60 minutes do little workouts that will get you you know part of your work done in little segments all throughout the day so if you want to do 20 push-ups in a day don't do 20 at once do five in the morning five you know late morning five in the late afternoon and then five at night and it gets you your 20 and it keeps you less strained from that workout you're not gonna be done with it and be exhausted however you got the same amount of work done and you kept yourself more active throughout the whole day this is something that i've been playing around with myself i really enjoy it because i'm not big on getting super fatigued and drained and then being sore from it the next day too it's kind of like a double whammy of just like oh like that that was like more than i wanted to do maybe even more I was, than i was prepared to do but um yeah you know that's just my little idea of uh how to keep yourself more active um yeah i'll have some i'll have some articles linked in the description below this video if you want to read and get more detail about that i talk about this quite a bit it is a very common theme running through my posts as it's on my mind in my life quite a bit so um check those out they'll be good reads they'll be a lot more specific and you'll get uh more in-depth uh ideas from me um, other than that, you know, thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.